Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of identifying prime and composite numbers. This is standard 5.4a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 17 of the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got four answer choices. We just need to find the one that is composite. Now, unfortunately, composite is not defined for us on our reference chart. So that is something that we are going to have to just know on our own. So I'm going to open up my graph draw feature, make it a little bit more transparent. Let's really dig into that word right there, composite. Now, whenever we say composite, we need to pair these two together. Prime numbers and composite numbers kind of come as a pair, kind of like even and odd. They're always together. So prime numbers are numbers with only two factors. All right, and those two factors are going to be one and itself. One and itself. So an example would be, let's say, three. The only way to get to 3 is going to be 3 times 1, or 1 times 3, but it's still the same thing. So when we're dealing with factors, we're dealing with multiplication. So when we're talking about a composite number, which is what we're looking for, numbers with 3, could be 3, or more factors. So that's the difference there. It's just a matter of how many factors a number has. So an example uh, would be, let's say, we could do 4, right? So uh, you could use uh, 1 times 4, but you could also use a 2 times 2. So 4 has got factors of 1, 2, and 4. So what we are going to do is we're going to take each of these numbers, and we are going to see if we can divide them. Now, they're all odd. So all of these are odd which means we can't divide these by 2. So I'm not really sure uh, what uh, some of these are by 3s, but that's probably going to have to be uh, our, best, our best bet. Since they're all odd, right? So we can't divide by 2 or 4 or anything like that, uh, any even number. And Dividing by 5 works if the last digit is either a 5 or a 0. So let's go by 3s. So we'll do it the long way, then I'll show you a little shortcut here. So let's just divide these by 3. And if it works, then that means it's a composite number, because 3 times something makes that. So 3 goes into 8. Let's make that a 2. That's 6. 29. Nope, it's not going to work. It's going to be 7, but a remainder. Okay, so not that one. 3 into 67. It's going to go twice. 6, 7. Nope. It's going to be twice, but be a remainder. All right, let's try 3 into 51. Uh, 3 goes into 5 once. It's going to be 3. Ooh, look at that. 21. Yep, 17. So 3 times 17... There we go. Makes 51. So if I were to list out my factors of 51, right, I would do 1 and 51. But then I'd also do 3 and 17. All right, so it's got four factors. So that's composite. Let's check 73 to make sure it doesn't work. 3 goes into 7 twice. Now 13, that's not going to work. Before with a remainder. Now, there is a way that you can figure out whether a number is divisible by 3. It's kind of a shortcut. Let me show you to you. Add the digits. Right? So 8 plus 9 equals 17. Is 17 equal to, uh, can be 17 be divided by 3? No. So neither can this. 6 plus 7 equals 13. Can't be divided by 3 evenly. 5 plus 1 equals 6. Yes, 6 can be divided by 3, so can that. 7 plus 3 is 10, it can't. So our answer here is going to be C.